As a water survival instructor, I train uh, high-risk air crew in uh, different procedures to keep them alive in the open ocean environment, from everything from how to use their life raft to how to get hoisted by a helicopter. At the beginning of this course, the students come in about 7 o'clock in the morning. They go through a lot of different academic lectures consisting of intro to water survival, just basic skills that they're going to need to have. As you can see back there, we really can't do this on the open ocean, so we set up the life rafts around the pool to give them the training that they need to take care of those things. We teach them uh, how to enter the life rafts and not pop them, make sure they inspect themselves, and how to get through the different things. Once they get into the life raft, they check the air, they check the anchor so they can slow the drift of that life raft. From there, they'll assist one another in, or maybe they'll even assist themselves, and from there, they'll get their accessory kit and then assess their situation by making that radio call, treating any medical injuries, and just training themselves for what they would do in a real life situation as best we can with what we have. When I got through team and got through that whole pipeline, I went over to uh, the field flights, which consisted of six months of certification. At that point, uh, I was a pack carrier for about a year and then a trainer for about two more years. I spent about three years over there training high-risk air crew up in the, up in the woods in the Kanixu and uh, just different survival skills, uh, recovery procedures, evasion procedures, and uh, how, to, how to get back to friendly control. After three years in the flights, I figured out where I wanted to go and that would definitely be water survival. I'm pretty active, I like the pool. We get to a lot of student interaction. It's a little bit different type of instruction. And you also get to go to dive school, which was a pretty cool plus. SB90 specifically is designed to prepare air crew for a ditching at sea, specifically a non-parachuting ditching at sea. So over two days, we try to prepare them as best possible by getting them familiar with rafts, familiar with getting to a raft, and of course, egressing from that aircraft. Once they get to that raft, then of course they have to sustain life and accomplish the mission of an isolated personnel to return with honor. Since we moved to this new pool, the realism of SV-90 training has gone up tremendously. We've got stuff like the wave ball, over 40 knot winds, and a complete scenario that puts the students in a truly realistic open water scenario. The most appealing part of working at Water Survival definitely has to be the activity. I get a lot of student interaction and we are mo always moving. We're working in the pool on a daily basis, which is what I love.